Good fish, feels like. It's kind of in the current. Nice, nice, nice. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, it's another good one. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Well, I woke up this morning just feeling like heading to the hills. And that's where I'm at. I'm up here. I'm right in the Cherokee National Forest, kind of on the edge, lower end of the hills. So this creek right here is coming kind of out of the mountains. So it's a nice, clean uh, creek. And it has some good fish in it. Um, it can. It can be tough to fish. But I think the fish are active enough. I just stopped at my first hole, and I had a couple bites from trout, I think. And I saw some other fish swimming around. Didn't catch any smallmouth, which is what I'm going for. But I, I've got a good feeling that we're going to come across a few holes that are going to have some active smallmouth. I think they're going to be, I think there's going to be some. I just got to find out where they're at, and I might be able to catch uh, several of them. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's a smallie. Yes. Come on, stay on there, stay on there. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm looking for. Active smallmouth, they're coming back. And, and the weather has been a little bit warm enough to probably go for these, but it just keeps raining and flooding. So to be able to get up here when the water is nice and clear and catch a fish feels so good. That's a nice little, these are real light colored here. I don't know if it's, I don't know if they're like this all the time, but they're, they're uh, there's definitely, that's what smallmouth, there's a bunch of different patterns to them it seems like, but nice, healthy little mountain stream smallmouth. It can be tricky fishing this type of water, especially because I want to get that lure on the bottom to, uh oh, that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, that's a trout. <laughs> I probably had a bite earlier from it. They they peck at it. They'll like hit, hit, hit. It's usually hard to get them. I'm trying to get that lure to kind of just sit on the bottom and or just kind of drift on the bottom. And that's usually when I get bites. But also the current's pushing the line and bumping off rocks. Sometimes you're not 100% sure. These are stalker trout. So. That guy's a little, a little tough on them whenever they get hooked like that, but they're just put in here. They don't really last all year anyways. Yes, there's another one. Oh, it's another trout. I don't want to catch trout. Not, I mean, not really. I'll take them though. But when I can catch smallmouth, I am much happier with the smallmouth. This is a chunky little guy. At least I got him in the mouth there. They definitely like hitting something. That's, I mean, I'm fishing it the same way you'd fish for trout, just something drifting through. So it's gonna be natural, something drifting through the current. I'm just gonna come out and get it. Oh, we got something. What do I have? Oh, I wasn't expecting that today. And I, I don't even know if I've caught one of these on a Helgramite. Yeah, yeah, I have. This is the, uh, now it's a chub, but I'm pretty sure it's not a creek chub. I've, had, I've seen some people debate it, but there's a thing, there's a creek chub and then there's horny head chub. And look at the horns on that. But also I think they get those, what are the tubercles or whatever, when they're in spawning mode, which that would make sense in the spring. Either way, it is a type of chub, and they will eat, they're pretty aggressive, they'll eat anything. They just usually don't get very big. That's a good size one. There's all kinds of suckers. Put my glasses on there, look, look at them. Then there's just tons of them, tons of them, you can see them. Pretty good with my little glasses over it. Where's that one over here at? There he is. 
Yeah, I keep seeing these guys swimming around all over the place and they look like smallmouth because they're dark. But there's a lot, a lot of them in there. Ooh, what was that? That, that one almost looked like a smallmouth. I can't tell in that current. It's definitely a beautiful area, but uh, can't get any more bass to bite. So I've been coming upstream and nothing. So I'm thinking about just heading back downstream. I think there's a, a deep pool down there that I didn't fit it. I didn't fish. What? Oh, 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 dude, I just missed one. A bass came out and followed it. Got it, got him, got him. I think. I think it's a good fish. Yes. I threw my waders on, took a page out of Bass and Grass videos and waded down the creek into the, this deepest hole where it's close to the river. Dang, finally got me another fish. Nice. Oh, that's a good largemouth. I think he barely pecked at it and then I saw him follow it and I, and I had to twitch it to get him to bite it. It's like a two pound largemouth. Good bass right there. Man. All right. It's a nice catch right there. How clear that water is right here, it's pretty cool. Still a little cold, that's why I put my waders on. Plus I just want to do this quick little part. Just gonna mosey on back down there. Hopefully there's a few more bass that are kind of up in the shallow area. He's just sitting right there. Oh, there's a fish, there's a, there's a fish, that's a fish. Good fish, feels like. It's kind of in the current. Nice, nice, nice. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, nice. He was right on the break. Nice. I think there's an, is there another one following it? I can't tell. Come on, I gotta get you in. He was right on the break of that, oh, of that uh, current of the river and then the creek right here. Oh, man. This is what smallmouth do. They fight. These river smallies. Used to the strong current. This, is, this guy probably ain't even heavy as a largemouth, but man, he's such strong. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Come on, and yes, nice fish. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, oh, oh. Right, hold on, I'm gonna get you. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my, look how chunky that thing is. That is beautiful. Just a gorgeous fish. Good, thick, healthy. Yeah, wide body he's got. That's a like, healthy fish. Man, that's beautiful. All right, that is what I came for. Let's video that. I dropped my pole in the water. I was trying to hang on to it. So it's right down, down in there. Oh, but we'll, we'll, I can grab it real quick. And we might be able to hopefully find a few more. I'm hoping that they're coming and going out of this spot. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh my goodness. I should have let him take it. That dude chased it up out of the water. 
He, I was reeling in. I saw him come up and chase it. I paused for a second. He grabbed it really fast. And then I didn't, I didn't, oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. It's a, oh, he's off. He's off. <laughs> this fish is killing me. Oh my goodness. I, that was like the next cast, two casts later or something after that one I just got. I was reeling it. I just burned it in. I saw him come up, follow it. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there he is, there he is. Take it, take it. Got it, got it. Oh, what's a big fish. Oh, what's a big one. Oh, man. He's in the current over here. Look at him digging. This might be bigger than the other one. Oh, yes. He looks longer. I can't tell if he's bigger. There's another one underneath it. There's another there's a, one chasing it. Dude, what a beautiful fish. Almost back to back casts. Hold on, there may be a few of them there. I don't know, but I'll take a couple of these chunks. Oh, oh the hook came out. The hook came out. He kept hitting it. He probably hit, that must have been the one that hit it two or three times. Stick the rod. Oh, there we go. I found a spot. Put my rod and my waders here. Oh man, I love these fish. I cannot get enough of them when I catch a smallmouth. I may be becoming a smallmouth fanatic now. After fishing for them last year, and then I really plan to fish for them a lot this year. And that right there is Tennessee's state fish, smallmouth bass. I hope there may be a couple more over there. That these are. 17 inch, two to two and a half pound smallies out of some strong current over there. All right, go on. I think we got ourselves a smallmouth video. Finally, I've been waiting for the day where I can get into these creeks. Now, I'm on the edge of the river, but I fished that creek down and got in here. And um, dude, those were nice. Those are really good smallmouth and they're chunky. There, I don't know if there's going to be a, several more, but there's definitely a, some action going on. So I'm going right back in here. Oh, there's one, there's one. Yes! Oh, it's another good one. It's about 10 minutes later. Dude, this one is dark. Look at that fish, look at that fish. This one is big, but this is super nice. I kept working the same area, 10, 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. Look how chunky that thing is. That's just a super pretty fish. Man, look at the colors on this smallmouth. When I dream of creek fishing and smallmouth days, these are the kind of days that I'm always hoping for. All right. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I can't believe how fat these things are. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, whoa. Oh. Another one, another one. Dude, this is insane. This is like a minute later. He was up over there. Oh, oh, this may be a really big one. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat here. Oh, it's yelling. Oh, there's another one underneath it. There's a big one underneath it. Um, it's a pretty good fish. Dude, these are giants. Like, if you're just trying to get going waiting, these look like lake fish, how fat they are. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's, there's one swirl, swirling around down there. Holy cow, that's the biggest one so far. All uh, right, let's see if we can see, there we go. It's kind of hard to see. I set my camera over here against this tree. Dude, that's like a 19 inch, three pound smallmouth. Just a good 
good fish. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the time to weigh them and everything because I'm kind of standing in the water. My, I laid my bag down over there, so if I catch a really big one, maybe. But these are just such good quality smallmouth, and I think they're just coming and going in that current area. So yeah, look at the body on that. That is a quality smallmouth. It's just one after another. But if that's it, yeah, I cannot complain. Well, let's go over this real quick. I might get another fish here. I'm gonna definitely at least fish for another 30 minutes. And, and if I get, keep getting bites, I'll keep going longer. Uh, Nico Helgermite and on a Z-Man Bullet Z, one 10 ounce hook. I got 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader line. I got 12 pound piece of braid. Uh, this is a loose mock crush reel, and this is the piece of an serpent uh, medium rod. It's extra fast. I really like this rod for waiting, and especially for this Helgramite. Um, so extra fast, that tip up there bends way up high. See how high it bends instead of the whole rod bending? So it's sensitive, and this rod is really lightweight, but when I feel one, when I set the hook, it, it puts a lot of power into it. And um, it's been a great setup. It's handling these fish really good. And also, I can... I can feel a smaller fish bite. It's sense enough enough for that, and it's it's easy to carry around. So this setup, I I, I picked it for what I was gonna do today, and it's it's working perfectly. Oh oh oh! There we go. Is he on? Oh, something did have a hold of it. I felt a little tap. I don't think he had the whole thing. I'm just throwing that lure out, just making different casts. Let it sit. I'm just letting it sink and kind of drift, pick it up, let it sink, kind of drift, reel it in a little bit, let it do its thing. The water's clear. I just want to, you know, a fish can be coming through where they just kind of swim and all of a sudden he sees it sinking. And he's like, oh, oh, I'm gonna go eat that real quick. Or sees it maybe a little moving or something. But I just, oh, there he is, there he is. You got it? He's got it. He's got it. Dude, these are, ins this is insane. chunky guys this is the smallest one probably today it's such a great fish man yeah i can't get over how many how the fish is going today i'm glad i decided to come back down the creek as a, as i went upstream earlier today i felt like i i was getting less and less bites i was like well let me go back down here and at least you know i knew the, the river was gonna be flowing strong so i figured maybe there'd be something coming and going I didn't think it'd be like this. Oh. Oh, yes, another one. Oh, good. Every one of these are so strong and fat. Oh, it's a big one too. Dude, I, I, I just fished all through here. I turned around, fished behind me for a while. I came back and cast over here again, and then boom, then I got it. Oh man, this is wild. Oh man, this, I think they're getting bigger. Oh, look out, come here, come here, come here. Oh, look out, look at that small mouth. Nice, solid two and a quarter, two pounds, small mouth, just, these are all just, like good, good fish. Oh man. I don't know if I can get enough. I don't know if I can uh, just keep on doing this. It's, 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 it's so, it's just getting so many of them. Like usually if I get two or three of these, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, but I feel like there's so many coming through here. There's a log right there where I caught that last one off of. And I've caught two or three of them. They're coming up right on that log. 
right there. Oh my goodness, that was the next cast. They're coming up right on that log, coming up the creek. They're probably coming in like pairs or twos or threes, just kind of two or three or four of them coming up, then maybe go back out. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> Even this little guy is just a nice fish, which I would, I'm calling this little now. If I caught this earlier in the day, it'd be a giant. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, did you just see that fish? I don't, I think it was huge. I think it was a uh, carp or something. It looked like it was about 10 pounds. I was just walking back over here. It just jumped. There's so many different fish in springtime. Traveling, moving, moving upstream, you spawn, or this here, over here, going up creeks, feeding up. And that's what I'm hoping to find some. I'm gonna go ahead and call an end of this video. Crazy. It's all these fish were within less than an hour. Uh, that I caught all the fish down here. I fished five or six spots up creek where I drove and stopped. And then I drove around and I was like, I want to hit this spot up here. I saw a bass and grass catch a couple of here about a week ago. And uh, another local YouTuber. And then um, I was like, I just want to try it. You know, I might be able to get something out of there. And then I didn't think it was going to be like this. You know, I thought that they, you know, I knew the current was going to be high because all the rain. So it's definitely the right time, right place. And that's a lot about fishing is getting in the right time, right place, and the right lure. Um, some, you know, some not some of that can change, but this this definitely just worked out perfect timing. So we're in this video. Uh, that mud bug right there got it done. Uh, I may try fishing with another lure just to mess around for a while. I'm, I can't stay real long. I gotta go meet my dad, help him work on the air conditioning on his truck. But um, you know, do things like that. But just got down here. I, I put on the waders to come in here. I'm like, let me try it, and it paid off. Insane day. That was a crazy time fishing. So many good small mouths. So thanks for watching. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, yes. All right. This will be the last fish probably. I changed up a couple of lures just to try some stuff. And they're not hitting it unless it falls all the way to the ground is what I feel like. So I put on a uh, Nico crawl and I threw it around for a while then I let it sink to the ground. And then he picked it up off the ground. Oh man. Oh, this day just continues to amaze me. Look, look at that. Look at that three pound fish. Holy cow, just so easy to catch <laughs> oh my goodness oh i can't it's too much to handle all right i am definitely going to enjoy this day and not take it for granted thank you small mouth